Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Hainbridge Pier and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new LEGO Dimensions unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the next of the fun packs for Legends of Chima, which we've already done unboxing for Eris, I believe, which was super duper cool and I was super impressed with that minifigure and just the entire design of that minifigure was very cool. But today we're going to be taking a look at the second of the fun packs from Legend of Chima, which I've acquired, and that is Kraga, along with his Swamp Skimmer. And I love that crocodile motif that we got going on there. Of course, to go along with Kraga the crocodile. And then up top here we have a nice shot of Kraga. Prepare, wait, waiting to roam over the lands of Chima. And of course, this is a fun pack, and it is set 71223. And then, if we turn to the side, we have a close up of the exact same shot of Kragger that's on the front. And then, we, on the back of the packaging, you can see all three forms that the Swamp Skimmer can take. Including the Swamp Skimmer itself, the Kragger's fire ship, which looks very interesting because that's like a boat that can fire fire. So that's going to be a really cool vehicle. And last but certainly not least, we have the Croc Command Sub. Which is a submarine form of the Swamp Scanner, which is quite interesting indeed. But all via water vehicles, but all different forms. So we have a jet ski, slash, speedboat, a boat, or, and a submarine. But we'll, we'll, take, we'll see how that turns out when we have them put together. But of course, let's go on ahead and tear this open. Of course, I've already pre-cut the tape, but just keep in mind that it'll be taped up for you. But first, we are greeted by some instructions. Then we have the first bag, which has his helm. It's a bit simple swamp skimmer, which looks interesting. And then we have the tags and the rest of the bits for Swamp Skimmer in there, bigger parts. But with these toy tags, I think they're a little bit plain. I wish there was a little bit more detail on them. Yeah, but I think it's like cheap maybe using crocodile teeth to make it related to Kragger and to go along with the personality of Kragger to make it a lot better. A lot. Exclusive to dimensions and such, but we'll take a good look at that one. It's out of the packaging and see how it looks then. But as far as the instructions go, with which cover the basic assembly for Kraga, the mini, which is the which is our mini figure this time. We love that sword we get with the fire blade, and then it says if you want to continue building. You got to, you you got to go in game and build, but you don't have to actually load the game. You can download them from Lego.com for slash dimension and get the instructions. Then we have the list of all the fun packs that are available, the team packs that are available, and then the level packs, which I've done most of the unboxings for now up to this point. And then we have a parts list here. There. So if you've lost a part, you can just check. Yeah. So yeah, I'm very excited to get this built up and have Craig a general team. So I'll just see you guys in just a sec. Alrighty, guys. So here is the Swamp Skimmer and Cragger himself fully assembled. Let's take a look at Cragger first. And my googly moogly is this figure got an intimidating face. That's a face only a mother could love. It's got a huge grin, really lots and lots of teeth. One of his eyes is messed up. 
He has two expressions actually. One with an open grin and one with a closed grin. That's the open grin face there. And then that's the closed grin, so yeah. And then he has his helmet, which is technically part of his head, but based on the way these minifigures are made, that's classed as his helmet, so very cool. But in terms of detail, details very good. You've got the Chi armor here with the fire piece in the middle, which is very cool. And all the detail down the bottom now on his leg, which these toes to look like claws and very effective. I do like the sword because it is different, and I don't think I've ever seen it before in a Lego set, so that is a nice addition to this. And the printing book as well. And as far as the tags go, the tags are pretty similar to Iris's tag, like the previous video. But essentially, they're working with one thing, so I think they're trying to keep it simple and relate to that theme. But you could probably get confused over time and get confused which toy tag belongs to which character. So there's a strong way of identifying that in the future then, that would be a nice feature to add in there. Because if you look at one, then you're like, which Chima character is that? So you'll get, like, quite confused. But, well that being said, there's something that isn't confusing at all, is that something's going to... Which is very cool. And one of the great things about it is it can actually be used as an actual vehicle for your character. So you can put your figure in there and have him sit. Well, not sit, stand. But that's still... Right. Cool. He hasn't got any things at the bottom, like wheels, so it won't roll. But the way it all come together is very cool. I just love the way they've used the binocular pieces, which is a nice creative feature with this whole bill. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And the fire at the end, I think it's meant to represent how fast this thing can go. So that's another cool feature. You've got these teeth pieces at the front. I just like the cro crocodile motif that's going on in it. So it's very cool, but... In addition to that, there is two other forms to look at. One of them being Kragger's fire ship and the Crocman. So, so let's go ahead and rebuild this into Kragger's fire ship. Because we are not done with it, guys. So here is the fire ship. And it certainly does have a lot of fire components to it. Because it seems to have some blazing sort of fire effect up here, as well as on the sides. It's, it's kind of interesting with this little mechanism that was used before. Because this acts like a crash barrier, I'm guessing, to stop it bumping into stuff. And if it bumps into stuff, it protects it. But it does look quite cool. I think it looked a bit more effective when we saw the images. I reckon it could have more come together a bit more. I thought they maybe they could have moved this down here a little bit. Cause then it could have some operational component, but you have to keep in mind then that would make it too similar to the first build. But, it's still very cool and I do like it. But we still have one form to look at, which is the Croc Command Sub, which is a submarine form, and that one looks very, very different 
to this. So let's have a look. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Cracker, flame sore pants. That didn't work out very well. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, here is the submarine form of Cracker Swamp Skimmer. But more importantly, the Croc Command Sub, which is its pawny. But these binocular pieces are used in so many different ways. Like regular binoculars, engines, name it. I like use like like you look underwater periscopes used underwater to see. You could use that to look. It just looks like very cool because that's a nice detail. Still maintains some of the basic features. Only component is I'm not sure about is the flames here. How are the flames going to be underwater? Because if the flames are underwater, it's just going to be extinguished. So that doesn't really make sense. But it's still very cool. And when I was building it, I thought I was building a plane because it did like have that plane shape to it. Because if you look closely, it does have that. Because it does kind of have that body shape but still very cool and teeth and it's just some of the basic features from the beginning but I have to say this is my favourite overall but the most important thing is that we can now add Kraga to our team and help us underwater with some of those underwater puzzles and that's all for today and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye everybody.